English edition of Delsan TV, Somalia's premier TV station. My name is Abdelazak Ali and let's have a look what we have for you today. Mogadishu police arrest terror suspects with explosives and weapons. Mogadishu airport at standstill over jet fuel shortage. Somalia frontline chiefs of welcome back to Dalsan TV once again. Somali police forces have, have apprehended eight men who, be, who are believed to belong to the Al Shabaab group following a security operation conducted in the capital, Mogadishu. Somali police forces have apprehended a network believed to belong to the Al Shabaab group following a security operation in Mogadishu's Hoden district on Thursday. Police spokesman Sadiq Adan Ali said at a press conference that eight men were preparing explosive devices on an auto rickshaw and loading other weapons on a minibus to be taken to the Al Shabaab controlled Sako district. رصاص تسيد أوجي دان إلا لبيه لبا تنقر غراء أو رصاص آكي فودي سبنا إيه رصاص كلتو فرفر أهو إيدان إندي ناتكو آركي كرتان the operation was made possible by collaboration between police and intelligence forces and with the assistance of the public, he added. The arrested group will also be brought before the courts, according to the police spokesman. This operation took place a week after the military court in Mogadishu sentenced a 60-year-old training instructor from the Jala Siad Military Academy to 15 years in prison for passing information from the army to the terrorist group. Security agencies stated that Abdi Aziz Hussein Nur Mursal was falsely claiming the rank of lieutenant colonel when in fact he was a second lieutenant. Now, jet fuel shortage brought operations of Aden Adde International Airport in Somalia's capital Mogadishu to a standstill on Thursday. A number of local and international planes were stranded at the airport. Hours after wrangling between officials at the Ministry of Transport and Civil Aviation. Jet fuel shortage brought operations of Aden at the International Airport in Somalia's capital Mogadishu to a standstill. A number of local and international planes were stranded at the airport. Hours after wrangling between officials at the Ministry of Transport and Civil Aviation surfaced a new company license to provide jet fuel services at the airport. Somali State Minister of Aviation resigned on Thursday accusing the minister for Dosa Osman Eagle of corruption and nepotism in contracts awarded companies including one supplying jet fuel at Aden at the airport. According to Anna Nuk's official resignation letter addressed to Somalia's prime minister, the lawmaker stated that he had received numerous complaints from civil servants and contractors about the ministry's operation. Anna Nuk claimed to have personally raised the issue with the Minister of Transport, Fardosa Osman Igal, to no avail. He also noted that several of the complaints came from companies and contractors operating at Mogadishu's International Airport, who have legal permits and have gone through all the legal procedures to operate. Unfortunately, the Minister and the Prime Minister failed to address their grievances. Somalia's chiefs of defense meet in Nairobi to deliberate on the regional efforts towards stabilization of Somalia. The Somalia Frontline Chiefs of Defense Forces, Chiefs of Defense Staff, on the 23rd of February 2023, held a meeting to deliberate on the regional efforts, efforts towards stabilization of Somalia and the eradication of terrorism in the region at the International Peace Support Training Center in Karan, Nairobi. The meeting agenda was to review the concept of operations to be adopted by the frontline states, as well as officially signing the Joint Operations Plan. While giving his remarks, Kenya's Chief of Defense Forces, General Robert Kibochi, expressed optimism that the deliberations of the meeting will contribute towards creating lasting peace and stability in Somalia and other frontline states battling the insurgency of armed groups. General Kibochi further emphasized that the peace and security agenda is a critical pillar in anchoring the frontline states' integration process and subsequently security and stability in the area are vital for regional prosperity as they will provide a conductive environment upon which all other aspects of regional integration shall thrive. The meeting by the chiefs is a follow-up of the Heads of State Summit held in Mogadishu, Somalia on the 1st of February 2023 
that unanimously agreed to jointly plan and organize a robust operational campaign at the frontline state's level against terrorism attacks and to commence rebuilding and modernizing Somalia's security forces to ensure they are well prepared to contain any act of terrorism insurgency. The meeting brought together chiefs of defense forces, chiefs of defense staff from the four partner states that include Kenya, Ethiopia, Djibouti and Somalia. The Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, has condemned the arrest of journalist Abdallah Moumin. In response to news reports that intelligence agents and police officers arrested freelance journalist and press freedom advocate Abdallah Ahmed Moumin on Thursday at a hotel in the Somali capital of Mogadishu, the Committee to Protect Journalists has condemned his arrest. Officers arrested Abdallah Moumin during a public meeting convened by Senatorial Committee during which Abdallah was invited to speak and did not show a warrant or explain why they were arresting him, according to media reports and Ahmed Ibrahim, president of the Somali Journalist Syndicate SJS, a local media rights group that Abdallah co-founded and works at, at the, as a secretary general. On February 13th, Abdallah was sentenced to two months in prison following a conviction of disobeying government orders but he has been living in a state of legal limbo after prison officials refused to take him into custody, citing an interpretation of the law that would mean he had already served the prison time. According to a copy of the judgment reviewed by CPJ, a report by the U.S. Congress-funded Voice of America, and SJA statement, this is the latest chapter in four months of the ju judicial harassment experienced by Abdel Moumin since October 2022 after he voiced concern over a government directive on coverage of extremism that is the potential to censor the work of journalists. Thank you so much for watching Dalsan TV. My name is Abdul Ali. Have a